So I want to give you five questions to write down that you must answer if you are going to be successful on this planet. Five questions. Write them down. Don't forget them. These five questions are so important that they control the entire world. Everything that every human does on earth is motivated by these five questions. The poorest man sleeping under the bridge is trying to answer these five questions. The wealthiest man living in the palace is struggling with these five questions. Every race, every creed, every ethnic group and every culture is fighting over these five questions. These five questions control the whole world. They actually create industry. These five questions create the fashion world. These five questions develop entertainment worlds. These five questions wake you up every morning. These are the questions that produce corrupt leaders. These are the questions that produce people who abuse their own lives and abuse other people. These five questions control politicians, presidents of countries, and prime ministers. These five questions control pastors. These five questions control young people on the street selling their bodies. It's because of these five questions that young people take drugs and sleep together without marriage. These five questions are so powerful that they cause the destruction of war in the world. What are these five questions? Number one, write it down. Who am I? Who am I? It's a difficult question to answer. The second question that controls the human race is where am I from? Where did I come from? What is my source? Some say you came from a monkey. Others say you came from a salamander that crept up on the rock six million years ago and became a tadpole and became a frog, which also became a monkey that became a man. Some believe that. The third question every human is battling with is why am I here? It's a tough question. The average human being does not know why they're on planet Earth. They wake up every morning, go into a job they hate, working with people they don't like, getting paid less than they're worth, and dying too young from frustration because they don't know why they exist. The fourth question every human must answer is what can I do? Write it down. What can I do? The average human on earth have no idea about their ability. 90% of the human population will die and never achieve more than 10% of their true ability. This is a tragedy. And the last question every human must answer is where am I going? What is my destination? Everyone wants to know what is my future? Where am I going in the next 20 years, 40 years? What will I be when I am 75 or 82? What is my destiny? And these five questions are frustrating the human race. It, it is these five questions that changed my life. Because these five questions are the questions that I couldn't answer. And when I was 13 years old, I began to read the Bible for myself. My father was a Baptist pastor. And he couldn't help me with the five questions. I went to a church and became religious and never got a question answered. So I decided to search for it myself. And I picked up the Bible at age 13, very young, teenager. And I began to read the book of Matthew. And the book of Matthew led me to the book of Mark. And then I read the book of Luke and and I memorized the book of John and, and my whole life as a teenager exploded. I became like an adult before time because I learned principles that adults didn't even know. And by the time I was 17 years old, I was the most famous teenager in my country because of the Bible I memorized. During those years that I began to grapple with these five questions, who am I? Where am I from? Why am I here? What am I really 
capable of doing and where am I going and I discovered that the greatest tragedy in life is not death there's something worse than death the greatest tragedy in life is life without a purpose nothing is worse than being alive and not knowing why breathing oxygen and eating food and getting energy and don't know why you have it this is a tragedy to live for 80 years and still didn't know why you were here that's a tragedy without a purpose life has no meaning it has no sense of destiny no sense of precision actually purpose is the third question why am I here and this is the frustration of all humans every human wants to be successful I have never met any human who said I plan to fail tomorrow no human wants to fail am I right everybody wants to succeed but I have some good news for you write this down success is predictable success is predictable success is not luck success is not an experiment you can predict success I'm gonna prove that in a minute success is designed by God to be predictable but I want to quickly say the antithesis also is true failure is also predictable write it down now here is a paradox success is predictable so you can literally plan success I am a successful today in my life globally impacting millions of people because I made a decision as a teenager as to what I want to be and do what made me successful I'm gonna give you the answer now and it's the same reason why people fail success is predictable and success is is predictable because life is designed for your success but failure is also predictable because failure is the same result as success let me explain what I mean God designed everything he created to be successful you will never see a bird who cannot fly naturally you'll never see a fish who cannot swim naturally every seed if you put it in the ground and give it water you don't need to pray it is designed to bring forth a tree everything God created has built into it its own success and if the plant is here today and gone tomorrow how much more important are you to God 